here's an example of how to transfer real life situations into a graph. So let's look through the question and highlight the important parts that we need to remember. Ben was bushwalking. He started at 8am. So here's our point. They've even started the graph there for us. And he walked seven kilometres in the first two hours. So eight o'clock through to 10 o'clock. And he walked seven kilometres. So about there, because we go up seven kilometres, two hours, that would be the first key point. So what we'll do is we'll get a line and we'll join the point from here to there. So there we go. Now it says after resting for 30 minutes. So if he's resting, he's not going anywhere. So he did that for 30 minutes. So there's 10 o'clock. That would take us to 11.30, which is about here. So we need a horizontal line to go the next distance. So let's go horizontal from here across to here. All right, so what have we got now? After resting for 30 minutes, he walked a further five kilometers in the next hour. Five kilometers. So he's gone from seven to 12 kilometers. So that's how far away he would be. But it took him an hour to do so. So that would be 11.30 which is about here. So that's the next point that we want to get to. So we'll draw the line up from there to there. So does he go any further? He spent an hour having lunch. There's another horizontal line. So it's 11.30 to 12.30. So let's mark on 12.30. So there's 11.30, there's 12.30. So about there, there's your one hour. So once again, a horizontal line to indicate that he was stopped. All right. Now it says he then returned to his starting point. And he says he walked without stopping for three hours. So his starting point would be back down on this line because that's no meters or no kilometers from home. And let's see... That, by the way, that over there should be kilometres, not metres. So I'll just write that in there. Now, at this stage, he's 12 kilometres. He gets back home. So he leaves 12.30, 1.30, 2.30, 3.30. So there's our point there. And he's home. So we need to draw a straight line from there as well. So let's go from this point down to here. And there's our distance time graph to represent Ben's hike. Here's another example of a real life situation that can be put onto a graph. You just need to read the question carefully, make sure you've got an idea of what the graph looks like. So this is distance from home and time, it's in hours, this is in kilometres. So Tiffany rode her bike to town and back again, which means she goes out this way and then back home again. She left at 9am, so we'll put that as our starting point, and rode at a constant speed. Now that's a very important concept. That means it's a straight line graph, constant speed, covering 12 kilometres in the first two hours. Well, because 12 isn't marked exactly on here, we can only estimate it. So that's 10, that would be 15, 12 and a half. So it's about 12 would be about there. And she did it in two hours. So there's 11. So it would be approximately that point there, 12 kilometers. So we'll mark in a straight line from here to here. Constant speed. There it is there. Right, now let's um, have a look at the rest of the, the story. She then rested for 30 minutes. So there's our straight line again. So 30 minutes is halfway to 11.30. And that would mean a straight line across from here to here. All right. So getting another colored pen, we're right. So she then rested for 30 minutes before continuing at average speed of 10 kilometers every hour for one and a half hours. Now, if it was 10 kilometers per hour, that would be for one hour. 
it would be another five kilometers in the next half hour. So it's a distance of 15 kilometers extra that she traveled. So let's go from here, and that was 12. So you've got 15 extra on top of 12. 27 kilometers now, so that would take us, that's 20, 30, so that's 25. And 27 would be up about here. But remember, it was an hour and a half later, so that would be 11.30 to 12.30 to 1. So it's about here. So let's get that line drawn in. About there. Notice that's steeper than that, so she was travelling a little faster by, by the look of things. Um, then it says she spent an hour shopping and having lunch. So that would be a horizontal line. And we would need to go across to where, let's see, so it's an hour. So we're at 1.30. So it was 11.30, 12. No, it was 1 o'clock, so it'd be 2 o'clock about there. So let's draw our horizontal line in like that. And then it said she rode back home at an average speed of 9 kilometres an hour. Now, she was 27 kilometres away from home and she travelled at 9 kilometres an hour. So if we divide 27 by 9, that would be 9 threes at 27. That would be a three-hour trip from 2 o'clock till 5 o'clock. So we could actually draw that in straight away from here down to here as a trip home. So how far is it from home to town? Well, according to this graph, you can tell me, but I think we're pretty much right that it's 27 kilometres. How long did it take Tiffany to ride home from town? Well, it said to ride home from town, we said was two, three hours. And then it says draw a distance time graph, which we've already done.